What's up, family? We finally have some good news regarding some new $1,000 stimulus checks that's being proposed right now. This is coming directly from the latest Democratic candidate for the president, and he has a great topic for discussion. His name is Dean Phillips, which announced his candidacy back in October, has been making the rounds, and he said that he has an interest in implementing some $1,000 stimulus checks for low-income families. I have the details to share with you in just a moment, but before we get started, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well as hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's go ahead and start with the video. Starting off guys, uh, yes, they are trying to ruin one of the number one restaurants out there or fast food joints, Chick-fil-A. They are trying to ruin their entire theme guys yes right now we are talking about the state of new york in which legislators have introduced this new bill that could potentially force chick-fil-a locations to open up on sunday what are they thinking uh, but anyways this particular proposal from a new york state assembly would require chick-fil-a restaurants at rest stops to remain open seven days a week they are trying to ruin the number one fast food joint out there. Wouldn't you guys agree? Do you agree with them being closed on Sunday? Or would you like to see them actually change from their typical theme, if you will? Uh, I believe that is one reason why they will not and they refuse to go public because once you go public, the shareholders make the decisions in regards to what the company does. But uh, anyways, in regards to this particular new bill that was filed last week uh, that could force these Chick-fil-A locations at these rest stops to remain open on Sundays. Uh, yes, this legislation is very weird, if you will, and it could change the trajectory of our famous place of Chick-fil-A. How do you feel about this? Comment down below and let me know what you think about this. But every Ever since it opened back in 1946, every Chick-fil-A has been closed on Sunday. It now has 3,000 locations in the United States. The company currently operates seven restaurants owned by New York's Thruway Authority. And the proposed legislation would impact all future contracts for Chick-fil-A. But anyways, in regards to this new piece of legislation, Chick-fil-A did not respond in regards to this particular uh, bill, if you will. And you know one person that is actually upset about it? Lindsey Graham. Who would have thought? Yes, the senator. Uh, Lindsey Graham is now declaring war against New York to protect Chick-fil-A with them having their Sundays off. Uh, yes, Senator Lindsey Graham uh, declared war on Friday over the New York State bill that will require Chick-fil-A restaurants to operate on Sunday. He said, look, this is war. He wrote that on on his Twitter or his ex account uh, in which he said he continued in a second post threatening to introduce legislation that would withhold federal funds from cities that require the fast food chain to stay open on Sundays. The founders of Chick-fil-A made a decision early on to close every single Sunday in regards to their business model and they have been consistent with their faith according to Lindsey Graham and uh, Chick-fil-A is a great company with thousands of locations serving the public with a quality product and taking care of their employees. He added, New York is off base and their actions will not go unanswered. And I agree with Senator Graham. Uh, yes, uh, people, the American people, they will fight over this bill. They probably won't get enough votes to pass this bill. But anyways, the American people will not stand up and see Chick-fil-A uh, having their fast food chain change just because of some stupid bill that was introduced because they want them to stay open at this particular rest stop. Uh, wouldn't you guys agree? If you do, comment down below. I would love to get your thoughts on them changing Chick-fil-A being open on Sundays. But uh, anyways, moving on, let's go ahead and talk about these new stimulus checks. Uh, this is coming directly from a new candidate, a Democratic candidate, if you will, for the next president of the United States. Uh, he is potentially going against the current president, uh, Joe Biden. And now in a exclusive interview, uh, Dean Phillips is talking about several things in this particular video. He is talking about uh, stimulus checks. He is talking about marijuana as well as the risk of going against President Joe Biden. Uh, but anyways, uh, just to give you a quick recap right here before we get started on this video, uh, he talks about multiple things, guys. He talks about introducing a temporary pilot program to introduce uh, some universal basic 
income programs, which is pretty much going to provide $1,000 stimulus checks to low income families. He is also talking about uh, making the marijuana legal in this country because it makes no sense to have individuals locked up over here for the same drug. But then you have other individuals that are making millions, if not billions of dollars on the same drug by selling it. It makes no sense. But uh, take a look right here, guys. I do want to go ahead and uh, share the video with you real quick. But uh, just to give you a little bit of extra right here on his Twitter page, uh, he ended up posting a message earlier last month in which he said that, look, I will consider a pilot UBI program to certain urban and rural communities and measure the results before expanding this particular UBI program in multiple states in regards to the entire country. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this particular video right here, guys. Look at this. UBI should be a test, a pilot, because I believe artificial intelligence is going to disrupt our economy in ways that we have to start identifying possible solutions. And the time to do so is now. I'm not proposing a national UBI program. I am proposing a pilot because I believe the disruption that is forthcoming is going to be tragic if we don't prepare for it. So stimulus checks in some way, shape or form are like UBI. In fact, more Americans felt financially secure during COVID because they had money in the bank. Remember when almost half the country can not afford a $400 emergency and a $1,000 check appears in the mail, it's a big deal. And most people had more money in their accounts than they'd ever had at any other time while the economy was closed where you couldn't spend it. And I think that has something to do with how people are feeling right now. The economy is open again, people are spending, no direct checks coming in, and people are not feeling very secure. So I'm not saying yes, I think we did that for a reason during a tragic economic issue that frankly got this country through it better than just about any in the entire world. But as I consider UBI, I think there is a test case uh, for such a notion. People in their 80s do not see things, have not lived things, have not experienced things that younger generations have. The fact that we still criminalize cannabis at the federal level is atrocious. It has harmed our black community. It has harmed thousands and thousands of Americans who are sometimes sitting in prison while others, mostly white, are making millions of dollars um, in the same business. So it's hypocrisy. Would you commit to legalizing cannabis? Absolutely, federal? immediately. I can't do it alone, but the Congress should be listening to Americans. Do you think that there's any chance left that Biden will actually set aside? I, I hope so. It would be in his best interest. It would be in the country's best interest. We've never needed a multi-candidate competition more than we do right now. Because nobody can say that he is best positioned to beat Donald Trump. Everybody should recognize that there are people better positioned than him to do so. I believe I'm one of them. But that does not mean I'm the only one. And why Democrats would not practice democracy at the time that we need it the very, very most uh, is shocking to me. So yeah, guys, uh, what do you think about Dean Phillips? He sounds like a nice guy. I don't necessarily know him that well, but uh, it does. I do like his ideas right here. It looks like he is trying to look a little bit broader than what your typical uh, president or candidates are actually talking about. Uh, some of the key things right there is definitely uh, looking for ways to provide some additional income to low income families, uh, introducing this UBI or this universal basic income program as a pilot, a much of a smaller program to see how the numbers go, how it is affecting those individuals that are in poverty, if you will, and uh, and then seeing how the numbers look and, and then potentially expanding the program into other states all over the country. So uh, definitely an opportunity right there, as he said, uh, introducing this pilot program to the rural communities, which is basically referring to those individuals that are more of the lower income families, lower income households, and those particular families that are struggling right now, providing this additional income, such as a stimulus check on a monthly basis is definitely a great opportunity to help those individuals potentially come from being below poverty. This is the same thing that the original stimulus checks actually did a few years ago. Uh, wouldn't you guys agree? And if you already know that stimulus checks have been proven to provide some additional income to low income families to help those individuals out through those economic times, as well as uh, bring them up above the poverty level. We have seen it multiple times in different studies and uh, like it says right here that the U.S. could help solve its poverty problem in the United States with providing a universal basic income. Uh, yes, a universal basic income wouldn't lead to adults leaving their jobs and 
it could actually lift millions of children into a brighter future. What that means is that's lifting children out of poverty. Many studies have shown us that those previous stimulus checks, those previous uh, universal basic income pilot programs have done just that. And this particular person right here, Dean Phillips, wants to bring that back to the American people. I agree with this, which could potentially put $1,000 stimulus checks into the pockets of households to help them out, uh, just to get a little bit ahead, to put food on their table. I think this is a great idea, but what do you think about this? Do you agree with this? And then he also talked about uh, the idea of these thousands of individuals being locked up in prison because of being convicted over marijuana. And then you have other individuals that are selling the same product in different states, making billions of dollars off of this marijuana. Uh, it just makes no sense. He called it hypocrisy. So uh, anyways, uh, what do you think about this? I would love to get your take on all of these particular ideas that he talked about in this video. If you get a chance, please comment down below as well as hit the like button for me. It really helps out this video. Uh, but other than that, guys, I hope all this information in this video was helpful to you today. Well, anyways, that's all we have for you today, but feel free to check out some of the items down below in the description. There are a couple of opportunities that you could potentially benefit from, such as putting some free money in your pocket or in your hand. Uh, yes, the first off, you can go ahead and sign up for the Amazon Prime membership where you can get 30 days for free, uh, which is a great time right now because the holiday season is here. And uh, what a great way to be able to watch the some of the favorite shows out there using the Amazon Prime, uh, their TV subscription. Also, you can order items from Amazon and have them delivered to your home for totally free. Uh, this is a great way to try out their service as well as get a few items to you and have some movies to watch over the holiday season. But anyways, choose that link down below. Anyways, if you enjoyed today's content and you want to see more, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. And if you like today's video, then go ahead and hit the like button for us. It really helps out this channel as well as it tells YouTube to share this video with others. But anyways, I appreciate you guys stopping by and watching and I hope to see you on the next video. Peace.